Okay, so here what we're going to be doing is looking um, at bearings, and this specific question is looking at reverse bearings. If I know uh, the bearing of B from A, and I want to try and find the bearing of A from B, something that a lot of students get wrong quite often. Now, bearings are measured clockwise from north, always. Okay, so from A is where we're going to start, because we know the bearing of B from A. So if I put A here, and I draw a north line, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure a 65 degree angle. I'm not going to measure it, I'm going to sketch it, okay? I'm going to put a 65 degree angle on here, that being 65 degrees. That would mean that B is here somewhere. We don't care about the distance, all we care about is the relative placement of each other, of A and B. I'm going to put a north line on here. Now, I want to know the bearing of A from B now. So I start at B, bearings are always measured clockwise, so I start at B and I go clockwise. This is the angle here that I want to know. So, easiest thing to do is to find this angle. Okay. Now I can find this angle because I know that angles like this are criteria. Okay, this angle plus this angle must sum to 180 degrees. Therefore, if that's 65, that must be 115. So if that's 115, I can therefore find the blue angle, which is the bearing. 360 minus 115, okay, which would be 245 degrees. Degrees. That's the easiest way to do it. 245 degrees. To put it in one full sentence, the bearings 360 take away 180 minus 65. Okay? So if you wanted to, you could do 360 minus 180 plus 65 on the end.